Good morning. My name is Jacob Newton. Uh, my wife Alexa and I own Hillside Farms. We produce um, grass-finished beef, pastured poultry, and pastured and forested pork. Um, we really believe in uh, getting our animals outside as much as possible in the sunlight, in natural conditions, um, and that results in a great product for our clients. So about five years ago, we were considering relocating full-time to Alaska. I was working in Alaska. Alexa is a teacher, and an opportunity came up at Homer Central, so we decided we were gonna make Central New York our foundation, our uh, area where we're gonna settle down. So we decided we'd like to get into raising our own food as we uh, kind of got into that subsistence lifestyle in Alaska. We bought some cattle. We purchased her 80-acre uh, farm, uh, which has been in her family since 1941. And then we just started growing the business. And in 2021, we purchased um, a neighboring farm to us. And the help of COVID, we really spread out our products to low consumers and started coming to the market in November of 21. Our keystone, our main real high demand product is our uh, grass finished beef. We got a ribeye steak right here in the sirloin. We do ground beef, um, steaks, and uh, select roasts. Then we also do um, fresh chicken twice a month during the summer. Uh, pasture raised, and then we also do um, pork cuts, uh, so breakfast sausage, bacon, and um, our pork steaks are uh, real high demand. So as far as our uh, grass finished beef, um, you can see that we do have some good marbling and fat in here. Um, we really try to do our butchering during the um, heavy growth seasons of our perennial grasses. That allows the best nutrition for the animal and they're going to put on the best rate of gain putting that intermuscular fat on them which is gonna make a good product. So we butcher a lot in June and July, and then October and November. Um, we move our cattle every day, sometimes twice a day to new pasture, and then we let that rest for 30 to 40 days, and that gives us really good nutrient-rich grasses. And then as far as our poultry and pork, we really like to raise them on pasture, move them every day as well. That allows them to get more succulents because they're moving around, they're not in confinement and then also they're interacting with the soil, so they're getting uh, nutrient uh, minerals. And this actually seems to create a better product because they're both moving and then they're grazing on what is naturally growing there as well. And uh, we get great reviews. We think our beef's really good, but if we were to say, you know, grocery store chicken and pork was here, our chicken and pork is way up here. And we get returning customers every week giving us great reviews. We really learned a lot in the last year of what a farmer market brings to the client. And not only you're gonna get superior product, you're gonna support the community as far as economically, but just the diversity of people that come to the market, you really get a sense of uh, hope and uh, good community, good relations with each other. And you kind of set aside you know, that diversity uh, that we have in this country and you can really come together and all sorts of cultures interact with us here and we really learn a lot interacting with them. So we're at the regional market every Saturday. We're in E-Shed on the train station side during the summer season, then we're in A-Shed in the winter. We also do on-farm pickups and we do a summer farm tour as well as a fall farm tour. So if you're looking for us, we have the big social media presence on Instagram and on Facebook.